When your application has vulnerable dependencies, how can you tell whether you're actually using the vulnerable part of a dependency? If the dependencies in your project have known vulnerabilities, these dependencies will be highlighted in the build file. When we hover over the dependency, we'll see a list of known vulnerabilities with a link, severity, and brief description. We can click the link to see detailed information about them on the Checkmarks Developer Hub, like severity, the CVE, advisories, etc. Or we can click the link Show All to open the Vulnerable Dependencies tab in the Project Tool window to get more information about the vulnerabilities right inside our IDE. The Vulnerable Dependencies tab contains a list of dependencies with known vulnerabilities in our project and their severity. Select a specific dependency for more details on its vulnerabilities. If we still need more information, we can click the link Read More to open the information about this vulnerability on the Checkmarks Developer Hub. To deal with vulnerabilities, we can use Alt-Enter to show suggested fixes. For a vulnerable dependency, we have the option to update the dependency to an unaffected version, if one is available, ignore the vulnerability, or show the vulnerability information for that dependency. The last option will show a list of the known vulnerabilities for that dependency. In some cases, you may want to ignore a library that has known vulnerabilities. To do so, select the option Ignore Vulnerable, whatever the library name, from the context action. In the pop-up that opens, select the reason you want to ignore this vulnerability. If you select Other, you'll have the option to add a description. In this case, I'm ignoring it for demo purposes. To access the list with ignored vulnerabilities, open the IDE settings and go to Editor, Inspections. Expand the security node and click Vulnerable Declared Dependency. To make this easier to find, click the Filter Inspection button and select Show Only Modified Inspections. The list is located in the Options section in the Inspection Details. We can remove a dependency from the list of ignored dependencies here by clicking the Remove button or using the shortcut. Once removed from the list, vulnerabilities in that dependency will no longer be ignored. In most cases, we'll want to upgrade the dependency instead. When we upgrade, we'll also want to make sure that our project still builds and our tests still pass. How can we prioritize updates? How can we tell whether our code is using the vulnerable part of this dependency. In this example, we have some code that uses a vulnerable API and this code is highlighted. When we hover over the highlighted code, we see a list of vulnerabilities found in this API call. When we use Alt-Enter to show context actions, we have the option to go to the declared dependency. Here we can use Alt-Enter again to upgrade this dependency to an unaffected version. We can run the vulnerable API usage inspection manually to get a report about all vulnerable API usages in our project. To run an inspection by name, we can go to Code, Analyze Code, Run Inspection by Name in the main menu, or use the shortcut Command Option Shift I on macOS or Control Alt Shift I on Windows and Linux. Note that anytime you want to perform an action in IntelliJ IDEA but don't know the exact menu option or shortcut, you can use Find Action, Command Shift A on macOS or Control Shift A on Windows and Linux. Let's use that to look for Run Inspection by Name. In the pop-up that opens, type the name of the inspection you want to run, Vulnerable API Usage. Select the scope you want to run this inspection on. We could run the inspection on a file or custom scope, or use the File Masks option to narrow down the number of files that will be inspected. In this case, we'll run the inspection on the whole project. The results of the inspection will open a tab in the Problems Tool window. In this example, we see that we have two usages of a vulnerable API, as shown on the left. On the right side of the tab, we see an explanation of the inspection that we ran. We can click the inspection result to open a preview of the result on the right. Here we have the option to go to the file with the declared dependency. We can then upgrade the dependency to the unaffected version. Alternatively, we can double click the result to navigate to the affected code in the editor so we can see exactly where and how the vulnerable API is used. Notice that we can also suppress the inspection. We can suppress the inspection either for the statement or class or suppress all inspections for the class. When you suppress an inspection, IntelliJ IDEA adds a new element before the selected symbol. When we select Suppress for Class, IntelliJ IDEA adds the Suppress Warnings annotation. For Statements, the No Inspection comment is added. When an inspection is suppressed, the problem found by this inspection is no longer highlighted. To re-enable a suppressed inspection, delete the annotation or comment that the IDE has added before the selected symbol. Since we're actually using the vulnerable API for this dependency, we'll definitely want to upgrade it. We can go to the file with the declared dependency, 
and use Alt-Enter to upgrade to the unaffected version. You may need to load Maven changes to import the updated dependency. Now that we've resolved the vulnerable API usage, when we run the vulnerable API inspection again, we'll get the result, code inspection did not find anything to report. Knowing whether our code uses a vulnerable API can help us developers better prioritize which dependencies to update.